Hey guys, Lance here. So in this video, I'm basically going to teach you how to set up uh, a new VM with Linux on it so that we can start doing our crypto projects on it. So let's go ahead and quickly select a distro we want. I'm going to go ahead and select my Debian here. You could choose Ubuntu, you can choose Peppermint, you could choose Bodhi, whatever. I do recommend a Debian based uh, product though just because there's a lot available for it. Um, so let's go ahead and call this our Pippin Ripto VM. Okay, next. Now I go way above what they asked for. I use 60 gigs um, and it's split into multiple files and it's used as needed. So, and it's better for performance, I feel like. Um, so here we're going to go change the hardware depending on your device, you know, you could change this. I like to bring it up to at least 8 gigs, um, at least. And processors, since I have many cores, um, I like to change mine to at least 4 cores to be being used. Um, now just for the install, we will have this connect that power on. Uh, sound card, I turn that off, I don't need it. Printer, I don't need that. A USB controller, I do change that to 2.0 and show all USB inputs and I get rid of share Bluetooth. Just because <clears throat> if I want to share any uh, device that I have on my host, um, I want to make sure the guest can have access to it. And then as far as display, I hit accelerate 3D graphics. Now you can change this to whatever you want. I leave it on eight gigs, it's fine because of my setup. So we will leave that as so. Um, and we're gonna tell it to power on once the VM is created, which should be pretty quick and here we go so now we can do a graphical install let's do the graphical install we don't know we're going to assume nobody knows anything right so we'll allow this to do its thing now it looks incredibly small I know and I don't think in this mode I can make it any bigger um, for now let's just go through it so we're gonna choose English we're gonna choose United States American English Now, when it says from CD, don't flip out. That just means the ISO itself. So essentially, it's scanning for everything, looking for everything, doing its thing to populate for us and make the best uh, guesses of what we want to do. So host name, I'm going to call this uh, VM uh, Pippin Crypto, just so I have that so I can know it on my network. I don't need a domain right now. So root password, you know, I'm not gonna make this one very difficult or this. In fact, this is a horrible practice to do to make your passwords the same and so short, but this is never gonna see the internet for the most part, except when I allow it to. So I'm not too worried. Um, and I have my own security on my router, so uh, full name, we could just put in, you know, our full name, whatever we want. I'm going to just use my name. You could do whatever you want. Uh, choose a password for this new user again. You know, like I said, to use the same password for root and your user account is the worst and most insecure thing you could ever do. And don't do it in a normal practice. Um, configure uh, the clock. So I'm in Pacific. Okay, so I'm going to use the entire disk since there's nothing on here. This looks fine. Uh, so here you have a choice, right? How you want to partition your disk. In this case, we're just going to do all files in one partition. Um, but in the future, you may want to separate your home, var, temp, things like that, especially if you're going to extend, you know, um, some of your uh, files and stuff. And, you know, you may need to increase space or if you have a NAS or something like that, you can take some space from that and, you know, whatever. But uh, let's go ahead and hit continue. Uh, this partition looks good. Gigabyte swap. I remember when it was a few megabytes. Uh, right to disk. Uh, we need to say yes, we want to continue. Okay, 
It's doing its formatting, installing the base system. Okay, if you wish to scan, no I don't, we don't care, this is good, United States for our package manager. Now, I happen to know which one is best for me, you know, you could go ping these and see what the uh, time it takes for it to come back. Mm, one of them I normally use, I do not see. Imagine that. Well, that's fine. We'll use this guy. I don't have a proxy. So let it configure APT, which is aptitude. That's your package manager. And right now it's basically grabbing um, all these great, uh, let's see, popularity contest. No, I do not want to participate in a survey. Continue. All right, now you can decide what environment do you want. There's different items, right? So I don't need a print server. I do want my SSH server. I do want standard system utilities. Uh, in this case, I don't care for the web server. Now, you could go with Cinnamon, which is a very popular one, or you can go with Gnome, which is essentially, um, well, I guess I'm not running Gnome on here, but um, that's a choice too. So if you like Cinnamon desktop, go for it. KDE, it's looking great lately. Mate, mm, um, just depends on what environment you want. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and select Gnome. For right now if we want we can always install these later now you might say lance why would you enable ssh server you know especially for this vm uh, and you know the point that you can have a folder or drag and drop into your vm yeah you could but if i have massive amount of things i like to hit a progress on it and watch things being scp'd onto my server um, just so I can see a status of it. Yeah, I can drag and drop files, sure. Um, but, you know, I have things to do. I don't want, you know, to accidentally exit out or something like that. So having an SSH server on it, just as easy for me. It's not for everybody, but that's how I, that's how I roll. And while that's going, I, I'll give you a tour real quick of Linux Mint. <clears throat> now you might say, Lance, why didn't you do Linux Mint? Well, as you see, you know, it's a fairly bulky uh, product, if you will. I think it's excellent for desktop. I think for, you know, doing small things here and there, it's useful and might be good. Um, but overall, I think for something lightweight to do crypto stuff, we don't need all these bells and whistles per se. And Debian allows you to install, you know, pretty bare bones, if, <laughs> if I could be honest. Like sudo and things like that, they've gotten rid of and a bunch of other um, things. But um, yeah, but I do like Linux Mint. I do like how things get installed, where they end up, and uh, it is nice. Um, so if you're looking to run, you know, Linux full time, if you don't already, it's great. Um, and so, you know, this is the Cinnamon desktop, as we just discussed, because I don't have GNOME on this one, but I do have Cinnamon, and that's what comes really default and recommended by um, Linux Mint. But of course, you can use any uh, 
uh, display manager you want essentially and so remember I was talking how many uh, cores that I have you know and how much RAM my machine has so as you see basically I have 32 gigs of RAM um, this drive this specific drive is uh, 1.5 terabytes um, and that's my processor it's an i9 and that's the kernel I'm running um, so if you have some reason uh, a beefy processor that can handle multiple cores do it give your machine multiple cores nobody's gonna tell you that's a bad idea if you can run other things while doing that and things are cool do it it's not a terrible thing use what you got and if it doesn't affect your day-to-day -day stuff even better So this taking a good minute here, huh? Now, if I didn't choose SSH server, you know, might have gone a little bit quicker. Now, mind you, this is the net install of Debian. This is not a full ISO. I'm downloading everything from the internet. So that's, again, why this is taking a good amount of time. If I downloaded the ISO, we probably would have flown through this. But because I like my ISO small and I normally have an internet connection, what I'm using for it, it's, it works out for me. It's lightweight, super small, and that's why I do it. If it's a time thing that you have, do not download the net install version of uh, the installer. You'll be there forever. Uh, I do like the net installer because I know I'm getting the latest and greatest. And now we will uh, see what happens here. Okay, so it's putting the bootloader. Install the grub bootloader into the master boot record. Yes, in my case. Um, Device for bootloader installation. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, remove the installation media. Go up here. Oops, wrong thing. So as you see, we have our grub here. It's going in. If you don't click anything for a few moments, it does its own thing. But what we do want to go is here, go to settings, and let's make sure this is turned off for the future so it doesn't pop up. Okay, so now we have our Debian install. And momentarily, I will make this bigger. I can't right away, and I'll show you why. So if we go to display settings, it doesn't even give me the option. Even if I maximize, it doesn't do that. So what do we do to fix this? We need to install the VMware tools. So click on VMware tools install and we should uh, shortly oh there it is okay so what do we see here we see basically a bunch of files and stuff like that right so we need to essentially because of our host version um, take our VMware tools file and work with it now we could do this from terminal but just since we're right here, let's just copy it and put it into our downloads folder. Make sure it's there. Now we'll open up a terminal. As so, right? And we have it in our downloads. So let's go to CD downloads. 
and it's there, right? So tar, and we'll CD, well, here, as you see, VMware tools, right? But let's go ahead and CD into VMware tools. Let's look inside, okay, so we'll do a sudo. Well, I'll show you in a second what's gonna happen. So we hit that, right? Put in our password, and it's probably gonna say what? We're not in sudoers, right? And it's not. So let's go ahead and do sudo su. And it doesn't work. Right? All right. So go ahead and hit su. Type in the root password. And now you can do it. Now you can go modify the sudo or file and put yourself in there. That's fine. You could do that. But that's the one weird thing about Debian. They took that away. So whatever. So let's go ahead and period slash VMware install, enter. Keep just hitting enter. Well, it does not like it, right? It says we don't have debt mod, right? It says it's basically not on our machine, essentially, right? So what do you do? Hmm? Well, we're going to have to go ahead and install it, right? So because we don't have that in here, let's go ahead and hit control C, right? So basically what we need to do is install a few things here. So let's go ahead and clear this. So let's go ahead and do apt install. And let's do auto conf is one, uh, auto, auto make. Um, let's do bin utils is another thing we're going to need cpp gcc uh, we're going to need the linux headers and we'll do something like this uh, unity msr and the reason we do that is so it gets the exact um, kernel and then make uh, and there's one more i think uh, this um, mmc i think Okay, we'll go ahead and say yes to installing it. Now, of course, there's another way we could do this. Um, just from aptitude, um, install OpenVM tools or OpenVM tools desktop, and maybe we still will. But let's just see. Okay, so let's try this again. VMware install. And we have a problem, right? It says dip mod again. Let's do an export. See if that helps us. And still no, right? So I guess you could ask yourself, well, what do I do, right? Because we know it exists, right? So it should be an sbin uh, debt mod, right? We see it. It exists. Obviously, you can't CD to it, but um, you see that it exists. So as I said, one thing we can do, if we don't want to continue down this path, and probably as someone new, you, you don't want to troubleshoot this. You could always do apt install, and I believe it's open. Um, VM tools, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So let's go ahead and do that. Ah, and what do you know? Our desktop just got bigger, right? And as you see, it resizes it. So now I can go to display settings, choose about 200%, keep change, and now you can see things much better, right? Cool. So the other thing we're going to want to do, and I I think it still exists if I'm not mistaken. So we did open VMware tools and I think there's a desktop version. Yes. And so we see that didn't work out right away. Now, of course, we can go ahead and, you know, uh, troubleshoot that, but that's not this video. <laughs> so. Let's talk about it. What do we have right now? We have a working Linux 
uh, virtual machine as promised. And as you see, now I like to remove all this crap. I don't like it, I don't need it, I don't want it, I don't want to see it. Uh, so I get rid of this. The only thing I do add and I recommend it is a terminal. Go ahead and that, add that to your favorites. I highly recommend you do that. And so this way, you know, you have it here. Um, so first things first, you do and you will need Google Chrome if we're going to, I mean, you could use Firefox, but what I'm going to be teaching you is you're going to need that, right? So let's go back to Sue, right? Type in our password and then apt install uh, Chromium. I believe it is. Yes. Now, Chromium is the open source version of uh, Google Chrome. And we want it because we need things like MetaMask. So let's see, Chromium is there. Great, All right? So the other thing we want to do now is let's go ahead and get MetaMask. Or maybe we make this into another video. Well, let's make that into another video. Um, I say let's stop here. So what have we accomplished here? We've accomplished installing uh, Debian, getting VMware tools to work properly so that we can actually see uh, what's going on here. Um, and uh, yeah, so our next video is gonna be what items are we going to need to install in order to set up and work with um, Ethereum, get a token going, um, how to deploy smart contracts and uh, how to use things like MetaMask, Ganache, uh, Truffle, and other things like that. So um, until then, hopefully uh, you guys will follow along with the series and uh, get more people in the industry. Take care.